Okay, we're at um, Michael and Company Barbershop here in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina. <laughs> and tell us what you're doing here with why is a barbershop and colorectal cancer, what do they have in common? Well, it's information. Uh, we come to the barbershop and you learn about sports in the barbershop. You learn about what's going on in the community in the barbershop. And it's a good place to learn about health in the barbershop. We have a lot of physicians that come to the shop and they were, we're always talking about so many of the health issues and colon cancer and being checked. They always mention that we have a history of, of colon cancer or any type of prostate cancer in your family that you need to get checked regularly. So, um, you know, we're just talking on a more personal level. I told them that I'm really ready and looking forward to educate myself, one, and two, helping others and educating others about how important it is to be checked regularly and things like that. So. What prompted did you get tested? Just health conscious. Uh, family history. After you know hearing what was you know uh, what was going on, and, and it's good to try to get it checked earlier. Uh, and I, I'm kind of a few years behind. I would like to I would like to know. It's time for me to do it. How old have you checked? I'm 53. 53. Ah, so you're prime candidate. Yeah. No, I meant to do it back in my late 40s. You know, I got a little busy and all that kind of thing. If you have a relationship with over. $30,000 and they trust you mm -hmm. why not find creative ways to make them you know get the information in the salons you know we have um, a chance to speak to the clients um, to get the word out where they can share it with other people we come in contact with a lot of different people you develop a relationship with a lot of your clients mm -hmm. and um, you know it gives you an opportunity yeah. So let them know, and like she said, also to share, you know, to stay up on, on things. Does it bother you if, if the stylist talks to you about colorectal cancer? No, because it may be something that I would need to get screened for down the line. The information that I received today from Gerald is very helpful because I can pass this information on to others knowing that it's um, preventable if you catch it at an earlier stage. So Gerald just told you this is mm -hmm. the first time you heard it. And that's the first time I've actually heard that it's actually been, it's, it's preventable. Mm -hmm. But had I known this previously, I mean, it's, it's very helpful to me and I can spread the word to others. What do you think are the factors that would prevent somebody from going in and getting screened? Anyone, I mean, I men think, and women. I think, I think, and I know fear Fear is a great factor in many of our lives, and fear will prevent us from going to the next step, getting screened. We're not sure what we'll find out. A lot of people have that belief or myth that it's better not knowing. I just know that this is something that I have to do. When you reach the age of 50, we, as anyone, no matter what your diversity is, you need to have this check. Spreading knowledge and increasing awareness is the beginning point in ending this deadly and extremely preventable disease. Statistics show that the mortality rate among African Americans is higher than any other race. We don't know why, but people like Gerald Footman are doing what they can do to spread the word in their community. In recognition of March being Colon Cancer Awareness Month, talk about it and raise consciousness where you can.